Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is May 5th, 2022, Thursday. The theme of today's devotional is Promise of Peace. The scripture is from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 through 11. The point is this, the one who sow sparingly will also reap sparingly. And the one who sow bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance, so that by always having enough of everything, you may share abundantly in every good work. As it is written, He scatters abroad, He gives to the poor, His righteousness endures forever. He who supplies seed to the sower, and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your, your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way for your great generosity, which will produce thanksgiving to God through us. Amen. Another scripture is from Philippians chapter 4, verse 7. The peace of God which transcends all understanding will guide, guide your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Today's story is from Elizabeth who lives in Nebraska. Since my husband Doug became ill a few years ago, we've, we've curtailed many of our activities including driving in the snow. When it snows on a Sunday, we have a home worship service together. Doug plays the piano. We take turns reading scripture, and we listen to a sermon online. One Sunday, I couldn't concentrate on our worship. Snow had fallen fast during the night, and I was worried about clearing the driveway. How can I possibly shovel it by myself? We were nearly finished with our service when I heard scrapping outside. I peeked outside the window. I peeked out the window and saw two neighbor boys clearing the driveway. What an answer to our need. Since then, the boys have shoveled for us whenever it snows. Philippians 4 6 tells us not to be anxious, but to present our request to God with thanksgiving. This command comes with a promise. The peace of God, I am not sure I prayed about shoveling the snow that day, but since then, Whenever I face a new challenge, I pray, Lord, you know we need something. Thank you for your provision. Answers don't always come in the way I expect. Sometimes God shows me how I ha can handle the task. Other times, God sends someone to help. No matter the situation, God provides. We believe God provides everything and God cares for us all the time. So what we should do is just ask God to give us what we need and wait for God's answer. As Elizabeth pointed, sometimes God gives us, God provides what we need in a strange way that which we didn't expect. Sometimes God gives us 
the help from our friends, family, and neighbors. Sometimes God gives us the better things. Sometimes God answers not giving what we need if it is not good in God's sight. Church family and friends, we believe that God loves us and God is always with us and God cares for us all the time. If we believe and we put trust in God for God's provision, we don't need to worry. As the scripture told us, the peace of God will be with us when we trust in God and when we rely on God. We just ask and God will give the best that we need. And that's it. Let us give thanks and praise to God all the time. And let us trust in God all the time rather than grumbling or blaming God or others or our situations. Let us trust in God more and just ask with our prayers and our hearts and that God will provide what we need. I also ask you and myself to be the boys, the neighbor boys. They help Elizabeth and Doug, clearing their driveway. We don't know what was their motivation, but at least we guess they would like to help them. And they help. Can we be the boys of God to our neighbors, friends, and family who can give our help to them? Can we be God's hands and feet, giving out ourselves to others. That is God's call for us also. Sometimes we receive God's help and others' help, but sometimes we can be God's help to others and we can be help, we can help others with our strength and everything. Let us help one another and let us trust God, and let us follow God's will and desire all the time. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help us trust that you will provide what we need. Banish anxiety from our hearts and fill us with peace. Gracious God, you are good. You are good all the time, and you provide what we need all the time. Sometimes we worry about something, Sometimes we need something but couldn't get it by ourselves. But we believe in you and we trust you and follow you. Please be with us and help us and let us trust in you more and wait for your answer. You are great. You are almighty. So we trust in you. Please be with us and please lead us to be your feet, your hands, and your heart toward others. So let us open our hearts, open our time, open our body, open our help to help others as your feet and as your hands and as your heart. Please bless us and help us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, everyone. I hope you have a great day today, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.